answer. If this problem was slightly different and instead of gave you the same information but asked you for the arc length, I'm going to set this part up the same, but instead of 2 pi r, I have pi r squared. Okay, so that's how those two types of problems can be slightly different. One last problem. This one is, for some people, the hardest because you're given one piece of information, you're going to use a formula to solve it, and then use it to find another. Kind of like those maximum area problems we've been doing where I have told you the perimeter and asked you to maximize the area. First you have to find the side and then you have to find the area. Well, in this problem, I'm given the arc length. So I'm going to use the arc length formula. Okay. So arc is only part of the circumference. Okay. So I have to figure out what part out of the total it is, what fraction it is. But I'm asked to find the area. That's a completely different formula. Okay. And again, it's only part of the area. So I have to figure out what fraction of the area, which area is pi r squared, I'm talking about. So I'm going to have to use both of these formulas. Okay? I'm going to plug in the information I'm given. This is my central angle, 3 pi over 7 radians. So that's my part. It's my part over here, too, because the sector is the same part of the circle. So since I'm talking about radians, my total has to be out of 2 pi. Because again, I have to have the same measurement. Now I wrote the measurement here, I forgot to here. If you don't write the measurement, that's fine. I'm doing that so you can see they cancel. Okay. Then I have this value, 2 pi r. Well, I don't have R. I don't know what that is. But I do know what the arc length is. So I'm going to fill that in over here. If you have a problem where you have to use both formulas, I am OK with you rounding or using your calculator, but do not round till your final answer. Otherwise, you will lose point. If you find the exact value, you get extra credit. Most people that find the exact value solve the problem right and earn extra points. Most people that try to do their calculator make mistakes. So it's probably more beneficial to round or find the exact value anyway. So I'm going to go through this with the exact value. Okay, you'll notice in order to finish this problem and find my area, I need my radius. So I am going to go through this process to find r. Okay? I can cancel 2 pi, 2 pi. That whole 2 pi, cross that off a little better, should cancel. My radians and my radians cancel. So right now, I have 15 equals 3 times 2 divided by 7 r. A lot of people like to divide, but it's so much easier to multiply by the reciprocal, especially because you have to make sure you know that all of this is being divided by 6 pi. And a lot of people also make a mistake in that respect and get the wrong answer. So if I was going to find the exact answer, 6 goes into 15, 3 for both of them. So I'm going to have 5 times 7 over 2 pi. That's my radius. That right there is going to go up here. And then I'm going to simplify this side. When I go to simplify this side to find my area, okay? Be careful, these two pi's cannot cancel right now because this is squared. So if you need to write this out first, then I would. So I have 3 pi over 7 over 2 pi times pi times 35 times 35 
divided by 2 pi and 2 pi. I'm going to slightly change this right here. You have 3 pi over 7 divided by 2 pi. Remember when you divide, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. I want you to realize that that 2 pi is on the bottom. So that 2 pi does not cancel. When I divide by 2 pi, it's the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 2 pi. I'm dividing, it's on the bottom. Now, some of the values that will cancel, okay, I can cancel a pi on the bottom and a pi on the top. I can cancel a pi on the bottom and a pi on the top. I'm still going to have a pi on the bottom, whether I cancel those or these. Okay? I can cancel nothing else, because 2 does not go into any of these numbers on the top. So I'm going to have 3 times 35 times 35. which is 3,675. And on the bottom, I'm going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times pi. And what is this measure going to be in? It's area, so it's squared. My radius was in meters. So this is going to be meters squared. And that would be my final answer. Now, just in case you're going to do this problem without finding the exact value, when you go to do this problem and you put this in your calculator, you have to type 15 times 7 divided by parentheses 6 pi, or your calculator gives you the wrong answer. And you get 5.57042. Do not round this when you put it here. I'm going to square that value in my calculator. Multiply it by pi. You cannot put pi with a fraction. So when you go to put this in your calculator, I'm going to divide it by 2 pi. Again, I need parentheses. Okay. And then I'm going to multiply it by 3 pi and divide it by 7. And you should get 20.889, so the only correct answer I will accept in rounding is 20.9 or 28.89, whichever way you want to round to. If you want to check, pick 3, 6, 7, 5, divide it by, again, you would need parentheses around the 8 pi to get that right answer. Okay? If you don't, you're not going to get the right answer. I did not. Hopefully we see my mistake. This is why I always check. I don't know what happened to that 7. See how I forgot that 7 down here? So I'm sorry, it should have been 2 times pi times 7 times 2 times 2, so 8 times 7. I should have had 56 pi on the bottom. Now let's go ahead and take that. I'm going to again have to put the 56 in the parentheses, and now I do get that. So it doesn't hurt to find it exact and estimate, because you can always check to see if you have the right answer. Now, if you need to rewatch the video, please do so to take any notes that you feel appropriate. You need to be able to at least have on your paper or understand how to, given a trig value in radians, find it, like the sine of pi over 6. You need to be able to find all the values where I ask you where does sine equal square root of 2 over 2, or any of those other 30, 60, 90, and find all those answers in radians. You need to be able to do the arc length and the area of a sector. Those are the four different types of problems that you need to have notes on if you're going to ask questions. On Monday, we will go through those, and I'm going to ask you to refer to your notes to compare them. So if you don't have notes, I'm going to tell you to refer to your book, okay? Because that's where you're going to be able to get help if you didn't want to go ahead and take notes. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you on Monday.